Having gotten our hands on some juicy intel, we took it upon ourselves to investigate. At least that was our story. To be honest, we'd infiltrated this cafe a good ways from school just for the heck of it. Hmm. Wow. He looks just like a prince. Hi, welcome. Ah, yes, good to see you both again. Mrs. Harda, Mrs. Ito. Well, Yuma, how are you? Now, you realize we come here more for you than the coffee. Now, now, if the manager hears you say that, he's bound to get his feelings hurt. So the usual, mocha for Mrs. Harada, double espresso for Mrs. Ito? Care for a slice of chiffon cake? It's our special of the day. Oh, yes, please, we'll take two. Indeed, very good, ma'am. Our leader's not just a man, he's a prince among men. Ugh, I want him to die. You're really nursing that tea. Sure you don't want something else? Actually, yes. Might as well get the most out of keeping your job secret. Ah, uh, I get it. Good old extortion, huh? This one's on me. Enjoy. He's Prince Charming. Look how much he can carry at once. He's, He's Prince, Prince Charming. Charming. Sweetheart, don't tell me your poor mother's taken ill again. Well, you know. It's just the two of us, so sometimes I have to help out in the financial department. He's Prince Charming! Yeah, the only negative thing you can say about him is he's dirt poor. Except somehow he makes even that look cool. Guy keeps his clothes so neat and tidy, you never know they're fresh off the bargain rack. He's Prince Charming! Oh, and did I mention he let me eat some of the goldfish he caught at the summer festival? Let me tell you, that boy can cook! He's Prince Charming! Oh, yeah, and I went to the bathroom after him once. He folded the toilet paper into a triangle. He's Prince Charming! Yeah, I fold toilet paper into a triangle, too. Every time I go. That's disgusting. Check him out. Even middle-aged women dote on him. <laughs> He's Prince Charming! Uh, middle-aged women in my neighborhood dote on me sometimes. Who cares? Did you know Iso Guy gets love letters from the girls on the main campus? He's Prince Charming! Um, I get them too, actually. For you. Forbidden, Forbidden love. love! Alas, some things are only cool when done by a cool person. Like Iso Guy. Or me, of course. He's Prince Char... What, what are, are you doing, doing here? here? They're honey toast. It's absolutely divine. Enough so that I can turn a blind eye to Iso Guy's illicit part-time job. <laughs> I'm rather surprised. You're not the least bit irked at his being such an ideal man? Uh, no. no. Care to explain why not? I don't get it. He, uh, he's too good a guy to be upset with? Hmm. Do we need a better reason? <laughs> Hello, welcome. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the rumors about a student working here are true after <laughs> all. Isokai, you're such a bad student. This is your second violation of school policy. I expected better. Oh, Isogai. It's Asano. This couldn't get any worse. The last time you were caught holding down a job, they punted you to E-Class without a second thought. Such a shame. Have you done no soul-searching since then? Asano, I'm begging you, keep this on the down-low. It's only for the month. I need the money. Please. I don't know. Well, perhaps we can be gentlemanly about all this. Mm -hmm. You can tell when Asano's up to something sinister. 
He becomes the spitting image of his father. Very well, then. I'll keep your dirty little secret. On condition that you show me your fighting spirit. My what? I think you heard me. Our school has a proud tradition of revering those who can hold their own, in class and life. Ample fighting spirit earns enough respect to forgive a flagrant conduct violation, and to show that spirit. Pole toppling at the sports festival? Yep. If we can beat A-Class, they'll let Isogai off the hook. <laughs> you do know it's a trap. They're obviously just out to humiliate us. What are we supposed to do? We say no, Isogai will get penalized again. Not a slap on the wrist, either. He could get expelled. So what? I don't want you guys getting involved. Tarasaka's right. Asano's got something up his sleeve. Besides, I'm the one who made this choice. I'll take responsibility for it myself. Let them expel me. Nothing says I can't stage an assassination off campus. Wow! What a... Terrible idea! Huh? You impoverished <laughs> Cowlick bastard! What do you mean, Cowlick? You're overthinking it, man. Knock it off. Look, only thing we gotta do is beat the nerds at pole toppling. We got this in the bag. Of course we do. Hell, I'd say we're lucky the jerks got you working. Golden opportunity. We can pay back some of the crap they're always dishing out to us. Top them? We'll freaking destroy them! Come on, Prince Charming. You guys, I... All right, let's do it! Yeah! How very typical of him. Always putting the needs of his classmates ahead of his own. This is personal magnetism in action. Perhaps the single most important attribute of a leader. <laughs> As a prince among men myself, I ought to lend a hand. Pole toppling, huh? Reminds me of my days at the Academy. It's not so much assassination as war. The relative size of your team can be a major setback. These kids may be well trained, but A-Class's team has them outnumbered two to one. Might as well be water. No problem. That's so cool! Indeed. Assassination has improved overall fitness, equilibrium, hand-eye coordination, and depth perception. And this extraordinary competition will showcase them all. Holy crap! That pipsqueak can move! Her body's so aerodynamic! You move to the beat of your own drum. An important advantage. Remember that when it comes to pole toppling, my boy. Victory is entirely up to you. Something wrong? Koro Sensei, the fact of the matter is, Asano is very talented. I. I'm no match for him. Huh. Look at it this way. However talented someone is, however gifted or well trained, the world is a mighty big place. There's always someone better. What do I do? I can't win. The guys are gonna get crushed because of me. Talent or not, one person alone can only accomplish so much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got Asano beat in one very important respect already. The ability to inspire confidence in your comrades. Should you find yourself between a rock and a hard place, there'll be quite a few people rallying to help you. You have the gift of personal magnetism. And between you and me, I'd much rather have a fellow like you as a student than Asano. All right. Guys, like always, we're going into this with guns blazing. Yeah! Next up, we have an exhibition match. E-Class must be feeling lucky, folks, because they've challenged A-Class to a battle. Something tells me Kuniki Gaoka's elite will make them live to regret it. Who are they? No way can that be regulation! In the spirit of cultural diversity, this exhibition match will feature our foreign exchange students. All of them. Asano's scared. He brought in outsiders to cover his butt. Must be a lot riding on this for him. This is gonna be hilarious. What you gonna do, E-Class? You got nothing. If they expect to win with so few team members, they'll have no choice but to break formation and go on the attack. At which point, our ironclad defensive line will eat them alive. Hey, uh, do the in-class dorks even want to win? None of them are on the offensive!
Okay, apparently E-Class's strategy is to go all in on defense. Are they cowed by the gap in skill? Whatever they're thinking, let the games begin! Bring it on, Asano. If you think we can be lured out, you underestimate us. Offensive line, go, Plan F! Roger that! Our objective isn't to bring down the pole, per se. No, we intend to crush you, once and for all. Uh, guys? <laughs> Damn it! We're not gonna roll over and take this! <laughs> Not just down, flung to the bleachers! <gasps> Sir, this is already a disaster! It doesn't matter how tight the defense is, if all they do is get picked off! How about instead of trying to hold the line like a bunch of turtles, you step up and fight? Hmm. Or don't you know the meaning of a word? Hey, partner. Huh? Why don't you stop yammering and follow your own advice? Hmm. Bring it on, man. <laughs> okay, now! Operation Tentacles! <laughs> Pin him down! Unbelievable! The E-Class team is pinning down A-Class's offensive line with the weight of the pole! They're playing dirty! Tough luck, big guy. There's no rule against us using the pole as a weapon. Get the hell off of me! Shut up and stay down! A splendid tactic. But you've only got seven teammates to create a defense with, and two of them are down for the count. You've just given us more of an advantage. Gorilla Team, Plan K. Both flanks, move in! There's a gap, dead center. If we're going to attack, it has to be now while they're separated. All right, let's do it! Look alive, men! Operation Runny Nose! Yeah! I've got you now. Ho, oh, oh, ho! Classic bait and switch! They pulled the defensive fake out! It's like a chess problem. Kids have made their defensive line airtight. But the tide of battle is turning against them quickly. <laughs> we should do something. The Ministry of Defense isn't gonna like it very much if the students get injured. <laughs> Not to worry, my good man. I gave Isogai some helpful tips during social studies. On the subject of defeating an enemy twice your size, history provides an excellent example in Hannibal of Carthage. Ah, yes. Called the Scourge of Ancient Rome. He led his troops off-road time and again, popping up where the opposing forces were least prepared. His defense strategies were clever. His weapons innovative. The lesson here is that a good tactician thinks unconventionally. Successful schemes are often guided by a touch of the eccentric. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> the E-Class dorks are about to get the net closed in on them. Yeah, it's beaten time. Whoa, what the? <laughs> Look out! <laughs> the E-Class team has fled the playing field and is running a mock among the spectators. Total chaos! Hey, there are no rules about boundaries. Come on. What you waiting for? The whole school's a battlefield. What are you doing? Damn it, quit scoring around, guys! The most dangerous part of pole toppling is that even with only a handful of teammates, you can clamber to the top. Their strongest are... Akabane, <laughs> Kimura, Isogai, those are the three to watch! Yuma Isogai. Should E-Class lose this friendly little match, I'll report your infraction and you'll be out in the cold. Order your team to attack unless you care to be expelled. Fall alone or drag your friends down with you, the choice is yours. Not ideal, but those are the stakes of leading the underdogs. <laughs> Isagai! It's about that time! Yep. And so far, it's all going to plan. <laughs> what? Where'd those two come from? Weren't they out of commission? We practiced taking punches till we were blue in the face! But the hardest part of it all was acting like we got flung off the field! You're kidding me. These are the goons we pummeled in the beginning? Right, we're done running. E-Class, go Sonic! Yeah! Of course. The scuffle was only to distract our attention. After those two clowns were knocked to the seats, they regrouped. Why didn't I see it coming? 
Now they're taking advantage of the chaos to rush our main unit. That's their game! That's our game! Oh, they got right up in their grill! How you like that, Asuno? There may not be that many of us, but it only takes one to reach the top of the pole. <laughs> Don't tell me this punk knows martial arts. We happen to be standing on the same stage, you and I. Tell me, are you so big a fool you don't expect to be kicked off? Strong final boss vibe. Definitely his father's son. Uh-oh. A-class is closing in. Anyone else feel like we're about to watch a massacre? Make no mistake, Asuna was a singularly fearsome leader. Provided they follow his command, A-Class can't lose. Not the sort of adversary you can trifle with, Isogai. Fortunately, you don't have to take him on all by yourself. What? Wait a minute! The A-Class offensive is called in reinforcements! What the hell? That's their defensive unit. Which means... They only have two guys left at the pole! How are they even holding them down? A little thing called leverage? Huh? Oh, yeah. Physics and stuff. <laughs> nice one, man. They're totally buying that answer. It's simply a play for time. The two of us can't really hold down this many people by ourselves. Lucky for us, these poor souls don't dare do anything without orders. Could be your boss still has an ace up his sleeve. And of course, in times like these, it's better to wait and see than take the initiative, right? Yeah. Stupid four eyes! Awesome, no! We need orders! I can't give you any! Looks like the A-Class team is assuming a defensive posture, too. If they can hold, E-Class will be out of options! Itona! Now! Do it! Yeah, okay. <laughs> a secret weapon is best saved for the last minute. <laughs> Uh, the A class is uh... Team E class for the win! Outstanding! My students are so cool, aren't they cool? Look this way, please! That's right, they're mine! Well, well, well. It would appear that by some miracle. The underdogs have gotten the better of you again. You were owned. I believe that's how the kids are putting it these days. Worse still, Isogai turned your strategy to his advantage. You hadn't the foresight to account for a secret weapon. This was a war of information, gentlemen, and you lost. Because of incompetent leadership. Uh, Mr. Principal, please, sir, your son did the best he could. Shut up, Kevin. You can't win them all. You're his father. Tell him defeat can be a valuable lesson. Yes, of course. You're absolutely right, Kevin. Well said. Perhaps you could teach me the value of defeat. Your words would carry a great deal more weight if I knew what it was to lose. Yes? Well then, come, fight. All four of you, please. At once. <laughs> Oh, thank you. But it's pretty dangerous stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Prince, Prince among, among men. men. Everything's different now. It's like the mood's changed. They don't treat us like the untouchables anymore. What do you expect, man? Our nothing little team rocked the boat today. People are gonna talk. <laughs> Think about it, guys. Officially, we're now even cooler than Team Asano. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Please. Please accept my apology. Did you know, I once took down a black belt on my third day of karate lessons. The first day, I was soundly beaten, you understand, by some 30-something. There was so much pain, I vomited. I'd never known a more agonizing defeat. What do you suppose I did on day two? I observed, inwardly consumed by flames of my humiliation. Certain were I to lose again. I would be mortified to a point of insanity. That I would, in effect, die of madness. On day three, I crushed my sensei without him landing a single blow. That is the lesson of defeat. 
Incidentally, Asano, aren't you mortified? Losing hurts. One would think the pain is eating you alive. You're a monster. Hey, check it out. Oh, oh it's Asano. We had a deal. You gonna hold your end of the bargain? You're not gonna rat Isogai out for having a job? You may take me at my word. Unlike some people I know, I'm not one for underhanded tactics. But next time, I won't just take you down. I will chase you into oblivion. <laughs> Someone's a poor loser. Yeah, what a jerk. Let him talk all the smack he wants. We're totally above it. Don't pay any attention to him. He doesn't even know you, man. Doesn't understand what you have to deal with. Except... It's not being fair. I don't know him either. His life could be really tough. Plus, I've got super awesome classmates. If being broke led me to you, then I'm glad. Isugai may not look as cool as Asano. He's not on top or out front. But before you even realize it, he's right there next to you. Whoa! Leftovers from the bread eating contest? That's the president of E class for you. A prince among men and assassins.